anybody want to get dinner after the show tonight? Yeah, I ended up in town to shoot some podcast tie-ins. Why do you look so annoyed? Can't. Apparently I'm babysitting for Lacey Evans. Really? I didn't even know you were friends. We're not. Long story. Thought I was filling in for her in a match. Turns out I'm filling in watching her kids. She says she'll help me get a match, though. Any way to get a match is a good one. Nothing wrong with doing someone a favor. Of course, there is another option. I'm listening. Oh, you could always just not show up. Then there would be someone looking for an opponent. Lacey wouldn't be happy, though. I don't want to mess with someone's home life. Even if Lacey essentially tricked me into helping her. I'll babysit. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have fun. Probably for the best. Don't let them push you around. I think I can handle a few kids. You'd be surprised. We've got ourselves what should be an entertaining contest as Aaliyah takes on a challenger who is quickly making a name for herself here on SmackDown. Name is the key word there, Cole, as in the thing that's opening doors for her. I have it on good authority. She's making friends up and down the roster. I even heard she got this match in return for babysitting Lacey Evans' kids. That shows a lot of trust, Cole. That sounds more like desperation to me. I guess Lacey Evans is out here to deliver a personal thank you for the babysitting help. It doesn't look like she's in a thankful mood. with that one. He was only thinking about dominance. Oh, jeez. Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. Look out. Oh, God. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a... That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Ooh. Strikes with a kick. Ooh. Ooh. Bam. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.
A simple question of babysitting has brought us here to this mixed tag match where one side will be trying to put their opponents to bed early. There might not be a title on the line tonight, but I get the impression that Lacey Evans is just as fired up as if there were. You can't mess with someone's kids. Unless they're jerks, then it's fair game. Lacey reverses it. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Excellent teamwork in that win.
Okay, now that we've had it out in the ring, can you agree not to message me anymore? What are you talking about? I don't think I've ever messaged you. Right, fine. Then can your anonymous burner accounts stop messaging me? I don't have anonymous burner accounts. You were the one messaging me and asking me all those questions. No, I wasn't. Let me guess. You got a bunch of random messages from an account who wouldn't leave you alone, and when you told them to stop, they said they'd meet you in the ring before Raw? Pretty much. I traveled all the way here just to make it stop. I did think it was weird for you to mess with me after I helped you on NXT 2.0. Looks like we both got played. Great. So that match brought us no closer to getting this person to knock it off. <sighs> hey, did they ask you what your favorite smell is? No? Great, so that was just me. Well, let me know if you find out who it is. I want to take this person out. Same, and I will. Well, that was fun. Honestly, I'm glad we got the chance to hang out. Even if it took you harassing me to make it happen. Oh, no. It's okay. I get it. I can get a little overexcited sometimes myself and take things too far. Although, asking my favorite way to prepare potatoes was just weird. 
But next time you have questions, just send me one big list and I'll get to them when I get a chance. I didn't send you those questions, Fanny. She did it again. Both got duped. What? You aren't the one who won't leave me alone? Oh, come on. I left my brother's wedding to come down here and end this. I didn't even get to do the chicken dance. And that's the best part. We need to figure out who's doing this. Send me everything they sent you. There's gotta be a clue in there somewhere. I will. But don't judge my answers. I was very honest. Too honest. On second thought, read them again and tell me if you can pick up on anything. Will do. And we're underway with this tag team tornado match stemming from some social media duplicity. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Ooh. 
She's pushed into the corner. Oh, I love this one. Slice bread into the cover. What? Man, that was a hard-fought win. She's got to be proud of herself Here are tonight. The superstar and Cora J. Plenty of chaos in that exciting tornado tag contest. Taking on multiple opponents simultaneously is no easy task, but these two really took it in stride. I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, margs, and if a superstar wanted to join me and maybe have a match for research, I could get WWE to pick up a tab. So any interest in doing a little work south of the border? First round's on me.
You're not the only one looking to improve their street cred. I'm trying to get better at editing my own footage. Only problem is, so many matches are so quick it's hard to get enough content to really experiment with. Maybe you could do me a solid and face someone in a two out of three falls match? Then I'd really have something to work with. One may be the loneliest number, and tonight it won't be enough to get the win as this match will take two out of three falls to get the victory. I love a two out of three falls match. I say more falls the better. More falls equals more wrestling. Let's do three out of five. Four out of seven. No one wants to listen to you for that long, Saxon. Harlem sidekick. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Just flowing through the air. Ooh. That was beautiful. That offense taking a toll on her. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And strikes. Man, right to the face. Chance can't yield any attack coming her way. Tough spot for Katana to be in. Super kick finds the mark. Oh, screw splash to finish it off. There's two. Oh, from behind. Uh-oh. He catches Katana with a counter. Katana Chance trying to get the crap. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Makes the cover. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, the Superstar. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Cheerio, LJ. Cheerio? Are you binge watching another British costume drama? Well, yes, always. But no. WWE is planning another Queen's Crown tournament, and this time they're really getting into the spirit of love for a monarchy. It's happening overseas at NXT UK. Well, that's pretty cool. You going over to cover it for ruthless digressions? Hey, pick me up one of those Royal Guard outfits, would you? No, I can't make the trip but I was thinking you might. The spots have mostly been decided, but I've got an old friend over there, Tavish, and he can pull some strings and get you into the tournament. What are you still standing here for? Go pack your bags and grab your passport. Unless you've got something better to do. 
sounds smashing. I'll go pack. Oh, I think I need one of those plug things to make the electricity work. Yeah, a voltage adapter. You can buy one at the airport. I'll tell Tavish you're coming. He promised to look after you while you're there. Oh, and do try to return with a crown, your majesty. Indubitably. Ah, there she is. I couldn't miss you if I tried, LJ. You're the spitting image of your own. Really? Well, not so much how you look, but you both have a similar quality, I suppose. Maybe it's a smell, something familiar. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think it's just me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, welcome to England. Thank you, and thank you so much for helping make this happen, Tavish. Ah, it was nothing, love. I owe your aunt a favor or two, and a fair bit of money, if I'm being honest. But that's neither here nor there. Since I'm helping coordinate the tournament, it was no skin off my back to get you in. And everyone's absolutely chuffed your ear. Really? Because I got a message from Zelina about someone named Beth Spartan. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't be an issue. There was going to be a spot in the tournament for a local UK competitor. But when NXT UK management heard you were interested in entering, with a little persuasion from yours truly, they decided to give it to you instead. Beth Spartan was sure she was going to get it. I didn't mean to bump anyone, Tavish. No, 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 you didn't. Not really. I don't think it would have gone to Beth anyway, but turns out that people kind of think you used your aunt's connections to get a shot at the crown, which, fair play to them, is pretty much exactly what happened. So you're saying I've got a target on my back? I wouldn't say a target, love. Just a marker. Scorn, maybe? But keep your head on a swivel. You're facing Sonia Deville first. And she's not a huge fan of nepotism. Well, well, well. You're lucky that I'm not running this tournament. We're all lucky you're not running this tournament. Because then you just figure out a way to give yourself the crown and we'd have all wasted a trip. At least every contestant would deserve to be here. I had nothing to do with that and I had no idea that anyone was getting bumped for me. 
But now that I'm here, I plan on proving I belong. <laughs> Whatever. I guess it's up to me to send you back home. Because that's where you belong. Good luck with that, Sonia. Cheerio, grab yourself a cup of tea and sit down in front of the telly because it's time to kick off the Queen's Crown Tournament from the UK. And I don't think there could be a better setting. The royalty, the pageantry. I only wish we could have seen Beth Spartan get a shot on her whole turf. No, oh, come on, Saxton. Spartan would be totally outclassed. At least this way, Sonya Deville might actually work up a sweat. Uh -oh. Dragon Slayer. It's in, it's in. Night, night. The submission. Rolls through, and she's free. Punch! She's beginning to flag a little. She can withstand the punch with her. Doesn't go well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Oh my goodness. Just strike it at will. DeVille clearly feeling mighty proud of herself about now. And well timed maneuver there. And here's a cover. And a kick out. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Crafty way to get out of hand there. Sometimes you just gotta show up and show up. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the Superstar. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. Nice work against Sonya last week, LJ. Ruddy strong performance. I uh, reckon you saw your facing Zelina tonight, eh? Definitely. She talks a big game, but I can handle her. Yeah, about that. Uh, I get the impression it might not just be her tonight. I hear she's bringing out a friend with her. Beth Spartan. You know, the bird who spot you nicked. You mean the woman whose spot you offered me? Yeah, I hardly feel like we need to debate semantics. My point is, some people might suggest you, uh, strike first and take Beth out before she can... Some people, or you? Me? No, I would never suggest something so underhanded. I like to play things with a straight back. But some people... Might be those not involved in the tournament and who wouldn't be worried about accusations of favoritism would have different ideas. After you got me an entry, I think we're past all that already. But for argument's sake, would these some people suggest I what? 
ambush her backstage before the match? Yeah, something like that. Now, some blokes might say it's unnecessary and you'd be putting a bigger target on your back, but I say you do what you must to win. You mean the some people suggesting I attack her say that? Right, right. Not me, obviously. I'm giving myself a bit of a headache. I need to lie down. So... I don't see a need to stoop to Zelina's level. I can take on her and anyone she wants to bring out to intimidate me. I'll play it straight. And when she loses her shot at the crown tonight, at least she'll have a friend to console her. I love the confidence. Tonight, we've got a second round Queen Crowns matchup full of entry. And with Zelina bringing back up, everyone's wondering whether the fireworks will be inside the ring around. You gotta love that spot and make it clear you can't push her out of this tournament that easily. And you gotta wonder why someone wouldn't just take her out before letting it get to this point. That could be a costly mistake. Fails to connect on the springboard. Zelina whips her into the ropes. And Spartan's got a foot. Zelina capitalizes, taking her down with a vicious blow to the back. Ouch. Oh, my God. Looking bad for her here. <laughs> First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. She had it scouted. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Oh, not a good place to be. Series of kicks in the corner. Really just laying it in. Stop it away. Punishing their opponent. Just relentless with this assault. And Exclamation point. perhaps the perfect match never any doubt in this win an absolute statement by the victor here tonight what a steamrolling
Now that was a proper victory. <laughs> Selena wasn't ready for what you were bringing. Maybe next time she'll spend more time training and less time running her mouth. It did feel really good to knock her out of the picture. Don't lose focus. Still got one more match and Bianca Belair standing between you and Queen's Crown Glory. You're right. I've got to remain focused. And at least right now, I know that I can turn all my attention towards Bianca and stop worrying about Zelina and Beth. Take care of Bianca, and no matter what anyone says, you'll head home as royally. I mean, not in an official sense, but you do get to keep the crown. I think. I'll ask. But I still wouldn't count on Zelina and Beth to put all the mucking about behind them, though. You might want to keep an eye out for any tomfoolery. Head, swivel, got it. Eight competitors, seven matches, one transatlantic flight, and it all comes down to this, a final contest to determine who will wear the Queen's crown. Either way, it's clear those eight competitors were the right eight competitors. Last minute replacement or not, this woman has proven she was the one who deserved the slot. She can't be happy just to be here, otherwise the EST is going to be the Royal Est. Here we go. I don't think Zelina's quite ready to walk away from this tournament. Well, it looks like it's just mind games. We'll see what impact that has on this match. Oh, and she turns it around. What a four. She avoids the attack completely. <laughs> She's taking some big hits here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. <laughs> Elbow throw saying not today. And Belair reverses it. Gets the knees up. Incredible wherewithal. Evades the attack. These two trading counters. An absolute master class. She could pin her opponent right here. Kick out. Close to three. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Fist directly to the gut. Hanging back with their own counter. Oh, look at this. This would be an amazing upset. Can she get her to tap out? We're moments away. Can her body... Trying to escape. It's a jawbreaker. rescinded right back. She's showing signs of slowing now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only good. Scissors kick with authority. Not looking good for Bianca. Try to end it. Oh, the tower that she gets the shoulder up. When Bianca looks back at this match, she herself is not. The colossal clutch. The colossal clutch. The EST for Bianca Belair. Uh, 
Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Bianca's looking weak in the knees. Scissors kick! Now that is the kind of move that wins matches. Let the coronation begin for the winner of the Queen's Crown Tournament. And Bianca Belair looks on wondering what might have been. For most Royals, the bloodline is most important, and apparently, WWE is no different. Oh, come on, Saxton. She earned it in the ring. And what queen has ever taken the throne without a little drama? Well, whether her hands are clean might be up for debate, but no one can deny at the end of the day, she's the one wearing the crown.